In this week's video, we're heading west through Los Angeles to the California coast. I'm gonna be meeting up with Suron Dave, who is a friend, a fellow nomad, a box truck dweller, and a subscriber to this channel. He actually runs his own online business selling e-bike parts from his box truck. If you guys are in the market for e-bike parts, head over to emotoworks.com and you can check out Dave's site. He's got pretty much everything you could need from brake pads and cables to batteries and controllers. And the best part is, he's gonna ship it to you from his box truck. In the last few videos, I've been showing you guys how I locate places to stay through Google Maps. But in this video, all the places I'm staying were shared to me from Sir on Dave. And so we're gonna keep his spots private because he uses them quite a bit and I don't want his spots to get all blown up. So I've met up with Dave at an undisclosed location and we're gonna go ride e-bikes. He's testing out a brand new e-bike design from Throne. That's what I'm gonna be riding in this video. And then he's gonna be in his signature golden powder coated light B by Suron. So the one thing I gotta say is these are not your basic everyday e-bikes. These are high performance machines. I would say they ride more similar to an electric dirt bike than they really do a bicycle. For example, they have no pedals, they weigh over 100 pounds, and they are flipping fast. If you throw that throttle all the way back, you're easily up on one wheel cruising down the road. And you'll see Dave do that right here. That's what he does best. Dave is the absolute king of wheelies. Whenever he's feeling like it in the city streets, he just hits that throttle and he's up on one wheel. The thing I really like about adding in an e-bike with your van life experience is it just really helps you expand your adventures. Uh, we took these e-bikes all over the city streets, all kinds of cool places that you would not want to take your larger van or box truck. And then the other great thing about it is you can just charge them up from the solar on your roof. So it's really, really nice to have kind of this free energy transportation that really lets you have fun and do some exploring. Yo, we out here with Sir on Dave. Solar service. We got the homie. We got the homie in the fire truck pulling through. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Fire crew chief coming in hot. About to get some of this bush water. Some of this bush water. Alright, bro, juice me. Water from the bushes. Sir on Dave hooked it up. That's a good spot, dude. You gotta know the spots, man. You gotta know the spots. And Sir on Dave knows the spot because he came by and saw another lady using the spot. Yeah, on a random day, she was just throwing stuff up right out of there. So. And that's how the nomad knowledge gets shared. Right. Hell yeah. I love it. This is some high pressure hose, bro. Yeah, I know. I can it feel it. Quick. Yeah, we're pumping some gallons. Don't mind us, we just out here filling water. <laughs> After a few days of hanging out with Dave, riding e-bikes all over the city, all over the beach, uh, it's time to get back to the laboratory. So I'm in the box truck waking up, 
Um, first thing I'm doing is just taking my morning supplements, little uh, B vitamins, little vitamin D, some vitamin K, some potassium, some magnesium. Just trying to hit my body with all the nutrients it needs. And uh, man, the van's quite a mess. You know, after a, a few days of just kind of being outside all day and not really focusing on cleaning up my space, uh, it's pretty easy for things to get out of sorts. But not too bad, not too bad. It's uh, definitely been a lot worse in the past. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit up a uh, nice cup of coffee to get me going doing the uh, latte this morning out of the espresso machine super happy with this investment uh, i bought this machine for like 130 bucks on amazon i've been using it almost every day for about six months now and it's just been absolutely incredible i just love the fact that i can make a delicious cup of coffee uh, it's it's almost free uh, versus you know going out to a starbucks or something and paying five dollars you know for a cup of hot bean water so definitely loving the espresso machine Here we are at the park, beautiful Long Beach, California. This is where I've been staying for the last couple days. Uh, it turned out super nice, just right along this curb here at the park. Um, it's been pretty nice. No one's really bothering me. There's quite a few people here staying in their vehicles. Um, there's one sign up here on the post that says no parking uh, 10 a.m. to noon on Wednesday for street sweeping but other than that no other restrictions uh, yeah it's been super super beautiful no tickets no trouble and just look at this beautiful beautiful spot I'll kind of cruise up over here over the park 1900 Ocean Luxury Leasing. There's a luxury apartment building right here. And uh, as we cruise up over the hill here on this park, we can see the ocean. We're basically right on the ocean, just a couple blocks away. Very, very beautiful. So I was walking down here yesterday morning and they had a, like a yoga class going on right here in the park. They had a big outdoor yoga class they probably had there's probably 50 people all spread out with their yoga mats overlooking the ocean doing some stretches absolutely beautiful so uh, if I was if I knew about it ahead of time I could have grabbed my mat and came out for a little free yoga session in the park it's pretty cool as you uh, cruise down California coast and check out all the different beaches. Uh, you'll find there's a lot of different places you can park and uh, really without much issue. So it just kind of depends. Each city is a little bit different as far as what their restrictions are. Long Beach in general seems like it's not really that populated compared to some of the other beach towns like Santa Monica and um, up near LA. So we're gonna go ahead and cross the street here and uh, we'll see what's going on. Got some blankets for sale.
Here we are overlooking the ocean, the beach. You can see there's just huge wide open beach down here. Not a lot of people on it. Definitely Long Beach. Uh, it's pretty empty, pretty wide open. If you're looking for a spot in Cali to hang out where there's not a ton of people, uh, not a lot of competition for the beach, for parking. You can see even this parking lot down here is pretty empty. Um, Thanks for watching today's video, friends. Next week, we'll be back to regularly scheduled programming. We'll be heading south uh, in unknown territory, finding new places to stay, stealth camping, and keeping this adventure moving. Hope to see you there.